Carcinoma tongue. Tongue cancer is a type of oral cancer that usually develops in the squamous cells on the surface of the tongue. It causes lesions or tumors on your tongue. The most noticeable sign of tongue cancer is a painful sore on the tongue that does not heal. It occurs in old age that is, between 60 to 70 years. Male predilection than females with a ratio of 3 is to 1. Types In the mouth, oral tongue cancer are more likely to be seen and felt. This type of tongue cancer tends to be diagnosed when the cancer is small and more easily removed through surgery. In the throat, hypopharyngeal tongue cancer develops at the base of the tongue. It may develop with few signs and symptoms. That's why it's usually diagnosed at an advanced stage when the tumor is larger. And the cancer has also spread into the lymph nodes in the neck. Etiology and risk factors. Smoking or chewing tobacco. Consuming alcohol in excess. Eating a diet low in fruit and vegetables and high in red meat or processed foods. Beetle chewing, a common habit in Southeast Asia. Poor oral hygiene. Jagged teeth that cause irritation or dentures that do not fit properly. Being infected with human papillomavirus, HPV, a sexually transmitted disease. Superficial glossitis. Syphilis. Genetics that is, a family history of tongue or other mouth cancers. Premalignant conditions such as glucoplakia. Erythroplakia. Pathology. 90% of oral cancer are squamous cell carcinoma. Some are adenocarcinomas. Oral melanomas are rare. The most common type of tongue cancer is called squamous cell carcinoma. Squamous cells are thin, flat cells that covers the lining of nose, mouth, throat, larynx, and thyroid. Gross appearance. Papillary, ulcerative, fissure with induration, lobulated induration. Sites. 50% cancer occurs on lateral margins of tongue. 20% cancer occurs on posterior most tongue. 9% on ventral surface or flow of mouth. 7% on dorsum of tongue. Clinical features. A red or white patch on the tongue that won't go away. A sore throat that doesn't go away. A sore spot or lump on the tongue that doesn't go away. Bleeding. Pain due to ulceration and infection. Pain transmission by lingual nerve from anterior two-thirds of tongue. Ipsilateral earache due to referred pain of glossopharyngeal nerve. Dysphagia due to involvement of posterior one-third of tongue. Ankyloglossia or fixed tongue due to genioglossus muscle involvement. Halitosis means foul breath. Hospice due to hypopharyngeal tongue cancer. Lymphadenopathy in which bilateral involvement of submental, submandibular, upper deep cervical lymph nodes. They becomes hard and nodular. Spread. Carcinoma in. Anterior two-thirds tongue. Spread to genioglossus muscle, flow of mouth and mandible. Carcinoma in. Posterior one-third tongue. Spread to soft palate, tonsil, pharynx, larynx, cervical spine. Lab diagnosis. First, edge biopsy or incisional biopsy. In this type of biopsy, your doctor will remove a small piece of the suspected cancer. This is usually done under local anesthesia. Second, instead of an incision biopsy, your doctor might do a newer type of biopsy called a brush biopsy. In this biopsy, they'll roll a small brush over the area of suspected cancer. This causes minor bleeding and allows doctor to collect cells for testing. Third, FNAC lymph nodes. In this, nearby draining lymph node is aspirated using fine needle. The aspirated cells are then seen under microscope to detect cancer cells. Fourth, laryngoscopy. Posterior most cancerous growths are viewed by laryngoscope. Fifth, CT scan. How doctors get to know about stages of cancer? Answer is TNM classification. Let's understand it. T means tumor size. N means lymph nodes involvement. M means metastasis. Let's talk about T. T0 means no evidence of tumor. T1 denotes tumor size is less than 2 cm. T2 denotes tumor size is 2 to 4 cm. T3 denotes tumor size is 4 to 6 cm. T4 denotes now adjacent structures are also been involved. Now, what's about N? N0 means no evidence of lymph node involvement. N1 denotes nearby single lymph node size becomes less than 3 cm. N2A denotes size of single lymph node has become 3 to 6 cm. N2B denotes size of multiple lymph nodes are in range of 3 to 6 cm, but yet on same side. N2C denotes size of multiple lymph nodes are in range of 3 to 6 cm, but bilaterally, that means both side lymph nodes are now involved due to cross-drainage of lymph vessels in tongue.
N3 denotes lymph node size grown greater than 6 cm. Now, what's about M? M0 means no metastasis. M1 denotes distant metastasis. It's time to stage the cancer. First stage means T1 and not without metastasis. Second stage means T2 and not without metastasis. Third stage means T3 and not to N1 without metastasis. Fourth stage means NET, NEN with metastasis. Treatment. People with tongue cancer will usually require surgery to remove the cancerous tissue. Surgeons can generally remove smaller tumors in a single operation. How tumor is removed? If it's less than 2 cm, it is widely excised. If it's greater than 2 cm, hemiglossectomy is done. For large growths, patient first undergone radiotherapy, then hemiglossectomy is done. For posterior most growths, total glossectomy is done. How lymph nodes are removed? Two options are available for this. First, if unilateral lymph nodes involved, radical neck block dissection is done. In this, unilateral lymph nodes, internal jugular vein, stenically demastoid and accessory nerve are removed of that side. Second, if bilateral lymph nodes involved, then, one side, radical neck block dissection is done. And on the other side, functional neck block dissection is done, in which, internal jugular vein is saved and rest are excised. How tumor plus lymph nodes plus other invading growths are removed? Answer is commando operation. In this, hemiglossectomy, hemimandibulectomy and radical neck block dissection is done. Fine. We had removed all cancerous growths. Now, chemotherapy is given to post-operative patients who undergone surgery. However, when a patient reaches a point at which treatment to destroy the cancer is no longer warranted, palliative care becomes the total focus of care. Palliative radiotherapy, palliate means to make comfortable. It is used to reduce painful symptoms. It doesn't aim to cure cancer, so low-dose radiation therapy is given. It only improves quality of life for people facing the pain. Now, it's time to build a new tongue. For this, reconstructive tongue surgery is done. In this surgery, your doctor will take a piece of skin or tissue from another part of your body and use it to rebuild your tongue. Common flaps used are delta pectoral flap, pectoralis major flap and forearm flap. Finally, complications. Loss of taste. Ankyloglossia. Pharyngeal edema. Glossectomy can lead to severe side effects, including changes in how you eat, breathe, talk, and swallow. Speech therapy can help you learn to adjust to these changes.